All right, all right. I hope you can see this. This is going to be your education for today. Today's Friday. Um, Wednesday, I gave Johnny Oleski my uh, public ask for a grand jury investigation in the Scott Schellenberger's office. If you went on my Twitter feed, you seen what I was doing on Twitter about a minute ago. So we're going to make sure that everybody on the same page here, all right? Johnny Oleski gave his word, and I got it on film. I'm, I'm an independent filmmaker and a documentary, and I'm making a documentary, a documentary about being black in America's courts, being black in America's judicial system, about being black in America. I'm a caterer. I'm a private chef. I work for 85% of the richest people in the state of Maryland. Um, Shorty's bootleg barbecue used to be Shorty's underground ribs on Falls Road. I've been in business since 1997. Just like the movie The Help, I'm not the help. I'm the cook. I'm the chef. My business was paying for my activism. So, uh, like I said, it was about the Democratic Party. In 2011, I was locked up and charged with terrorism. And y'all took my movie. Y'all took my property, my intellectual property. It was insured. All right. So I'm going to fill y'all in so y'all can catch up. Whoever just catching up, whoever just finding out about this, this is where we at on this one. All right. Go to YouTube, Facebook, and Twitter. We're using social media to do this. You feel me? So follow this. To be respectful of everybody's time, please keep your questions to a question. If you start hearing the music play, that means, you know, you're probably... Y'all thought that, uh... That means it's time to get cut to the chair. They thought that they was going to be me, keep me quiet and shit. You know what I'm saying? But, uh, I took over the show. And when I step in the room in 2019, I'm going to take over it. I'm going to mic check the room and I'm going to check everybody in the room. You feel me? I'm going to speak if you like it or not. And if you got a problem with me, lock me up. Because if you lock me up, that means I get access to the grand jury. If you lock me up, that gives me a, cl a closer date to my end. Barbecue guy. I'm also an independent filmmaker. And I've been making a documentary about the Democratic Party for the last 13 years. I got locked up in Towson for putting the toilet in front of the courthouse. The toilet was artwork and evidence. This right here is what I was talking about. All right. Now, Johnny Oleski, during your campaign, you said if I, if I provided you with evidence of corruption, that you would deal with it, correct? Remember the conversations we had? If I could provide you with evidence of corruption in Baltimore County courts and Baltimore County government, that you would investigate it. Here's your chance to do what you said you would do. You have a moral and ethical obligation to address this issue. I was incarcerated for 86 days. I'm homeless now. I'm out $2.6 million because the state fraudulently incarcerated me and stole my property. Everything that I'm telling you, I've told your predecessor, I've told your partner, Mr. Jones, the lady beside him. This is about the politics in Baltimore County and the Democratic Party. Now, you have legal information that you received today at your office, all right? And I expect you to act on that. I asked for an interview to talk to you one-on-one, -on -one, and we ain't did that yet. I'm doing this in public, so if anything happened to me, we know that this was talked about. You feel me? Now, when I put that toilet tonight, I applied for his job because it's vacant too long. I'm finished. You do what you got to do, but we need social justice. Martin Luther King would stand here. He wouldn't accept this, so neither should I. I applied for his job because it's vacant too long. I'm finished. You do what you got to do, but we need social justice in Baltimore County, and we're not accept. I'm not accepting it. I'm not accepting it. I'm out $2.6 million, and I want what belongs to me. We, we will get a meeting set up in the next month, so I'm going to ask someone on the outreach team to come up and make sure we have your most recent information so we can sit down and go through that be a man of your word that's all i ask yep right man of your word now i did that in front of everybody so it can't nobody say that they don't know about it i did that in front of everybody you know what i'm saying he gave his word that he's going to investigate so i'm gonna make sure this investigation goes through i had a table and a tv set sitting outside that event i'm gonna put that table in a tv set in front of his office on February the 1st, Black History Month, February the 1st, February the 2nd the anniversary of my mother's death. So this is like doing it again. Instead of February the 2nd, it's going to be February the 1st. Next Friday, 
we're gonna start Black History Month in a black in a shorty kind of way. Whatever whoever was at that event, seen that TV, seen that table. That TV and that table are gonna be sitting in front of Camp, in front of Oleski's office next Friday morning. I'm gonna start the month out right. I'm gonna give you being black 365. Like I said, I'm gonna show you about racism in your courts and racism in, in Baltimore County. That's the IRS, 2019. We have assigned you an identity protection number. All right? Right here. If you suspect tax fraud regarding your federal tax returns, your responsibility to contact the Internal Revenue Service. I did. The Federal Terror Commission. I did. The Credit Bureau. I did. The Police Department. I did. That's the police record. That's the criminal complaint. I did. You feel me? But that complaint got to go through Schellenberger's office and Schellenberger refuses to address this. And it's been sitting in there far too long. You feel me? See the date? That's 2017. It's 2019. It's two years that you've been shielding the corruption and you've been shielding it because the, to access the court, I got to go through Schellenberger's office. Police department. You feel me? Talking about Spring Grove. I signed a movie release and the movie's about your politics. Consent to videotape. That's why I treat y'all the way I treat you. This is Al Repmer. All right. That's my insurance claim. That's my insurance claim. Good afternoon, Mr. Davis. Per your request, we will send the decision letter later in the email, in a regular email. The county executive, the controller, and the attorney general. You can provide a copy to those individuals if you choose to. You feel me? I'm going to step this process up. I was locked up in another state. That's, me, I, that's not my signature. I was locked up in Illinois. That's not my signature. I was insured by Insurance Incorporated. Nobody can touch my money. You feel me? That's me. I'm the player. I'm the president. I'm the treasurer. I'm the secretary. And vice presidency is open. And ain't nobody filled that position yet. I'm a businessman. I've been in business since 98, man. You feel me? I've been in business since 1998. I was insured. You feel me? Until 2008, I was insured. Standard time. That means nobody can get on my property. Nobody could be in my building. Nobody can sign my name, my likeness, my nothing. You feel me? So y'all handle y'all's business because I am. Banking violations, credit card fraud, money transfers. I was a vulnerable individual. I was incarcerated in another state. I couldn't conduct no business, and the business should have been closed down. You feel me? These are the forged checks. That's not my signature. This is white-collar crime, crimp crime, and that's James Hammond. That's $1,200. That's $1,700. You feel me? Cockyville Enterprise Incorporated. Who did this go to? They just giving money out to whoever they want to get the money to, and it was coming out my account. That's a lawyer, 2007. Like I said, I was making a movie. That's my store. The movie was about the politics in Maryland. That's the Department of Justice. Go get it. This is the property that you stole from me. That's the custodial records. The entire contents of the defendant's vehicle, a 1999 Chevy Suburban. You owe me $6,000 for the Chevy Suburban. That's off the bat. The contents of the truck was worth $100 million because it was 13 movies. President Obama asked for an investigation. The movie was about Obama. It was about the prison industry stopping frisk and zero tolerance. It's about being black and white America. I am Dred Scott. Don't hate the player. Hate the game. Matter of fact, hate the truth because I'm getting ready to put the truth on you. This campaign is over with. I took your signs down and I put them to good use. You feel me? We're going to talk about Joan Conway. We're going to talk about Frank Conway. We're going to talk about victims' rights because I'm the victim here. We got that right. I'm the victim here. You feel me? And we're going to talk about the role the media plays in this because they had this too. Like I said, you go right to Al Retmer. This was received in 2018 by Caminettes. You feel me? At 12, 15 p.m. Because like I said, the devil is in the details. And I got everything detailed. This is a movie about your party. The Democratic Party. And I was going to enter it in the Maryland Film Festival. 
It ain't going to make it, but I'm going to do it for the 2020 film festival. It's about your court and your clerks and your politics in Maryland. You talking about Caminettes? No, we don't need to talk about Colin Kaepernick. We need to talk about just being black in America. This is to prove I was making a documentary about your judicial system. Commode emotion. This toilet is a political statement. Freedom of speech. A focal point for my movie and my book. Letters Design with Rob Fix. So like I said, I'm using your sign to put out my message. And I'm going to put out my truth because like I said, I was locked up in another state. And they go to emails to prove it. So when I pull y'all's card, when I come down to Annapolis and I call y'all out, don't say nothing but the truth. I'm going to put this camera in your face and I'm going to ask you 21 questions and a bitch ain't one. Schellenberger, you should have done this in 2008. Federal and state violations, banking violations. Schellenberger had this since 2008 and he's still blocking it. 10 years. It's 2019. That's 11 years. That's $260,000 a year for 11 years. That's two point. Eight million. No, it's two point six, two point yeah, two point eight million. You heard them for three million in a minute, right here. To whom it may concern, February first, two thousand eight. Dwayne Davis is no longer of the Country Ridge store. You feel me? So if you signed a lease in two thousand and eight, and I was still had insurance on the building, that means that you violated the law. That means you broke the law. That's the 1999 Chevy Suburban. Income tax. You refunded me nine thousand. You refunded me nine hundred dollars because you was taking my tax money. You feel me? You're gonna have to compensate me more than just the nine hundred. You gotta pay me for the building. You gotta pay me for the lease. You gotta pay me for the property, cause I was insured. Now, Governor Hogan, I'm coming down there to see you next week, and I'm gonna have this on there. And everything I got on Johnny Oleski's sign, I'm gonna put on Hogan's sign. The supporters of shorties. You feel me? We the supporters of shorty and any appropriate officials in the state of Maryland to assist shorty in this effort to achieve complete justice. Just because you see me by myself don't mean I'm by myself. These are the supporters of shorties. I had a documentary about race and racism and I had white people fighting my fight. And the movie was about Governor O'Malley and zero, fritz, zero tolerance stop and frisk. You feel me? The movie was about you. And our politics in Maryland. The supporters of shorties. Like I said, y'all got to tell me where I went from $260,000 a year to zero. That should have made red flags and made you audit it anyway. Y'all didn't have a problem filing these criminal charges against me in 2008. Y'all permitted him to file false charges against me. And when the false charges didn't work, because y'all didn't work, it didn't work. You see when you file the charges against me? 2008. You feel me? I'm going to show you corruption in your courts. And you can get everything from Judge Souter, like I said. Zero money. So next week, that's the Baltimore City delegation. You're going to get this for the Baltimore City delegation. That's my property. You got to compensate me for my losses. You stole the property. You incarcerated me. You used your courts to incarcerate me because I was making a movie about you. That's the IRS. I filed my paperwork. My shit legit. That's from 2014. Y'all got 10 years worth of taxes y'all got to pay for. That's Greg Bernstein. That's the chief of police. That's the minority report. Dear Judge Souter, 2011. You feel me? This is the legal information for the state's attorney, Schellenberger, as well as the lawyer, Mr. Souders, didn't show the jury during the bond hearing. Y'all had me for 86 days illegally. That's why I fired my lawyer and defended myself. I was a show of corruption. The computer, the video camera, the camera, the SD cards, the videos, the storyboards. You feel me? Towson Turnabout. Yeah, it's the minority report. So, uh, Johnny Oleski, you got work to do. You're going to bring charges against Scott Schellenberger to disbar Scott Schellenberger. You're going to have a audit. You're going to audit my store. We're going to see where that $260,000 went in 2008. 
You're going to compensate me for my losses and give me my standings in the community back. If not, it really don't matter. Because like I said, book, movie, lawsuit. I'm getting ready to sue you next. If you don't take me to court and give me my criminal charges, I'm going to sue you for my property. Al, here you go. I'm going to take his findings and sue you. This said, that's the criminal charges. It said police department. I'm the victim here. Schellenberger's blocking me access to the courts, access to the grand jury. Because when we put this evidence in front of the grand jury, somebody going to jail. And it ain't going to be shorty. Good to see you, Adam May. That's my consent to be videotaped. I'm making a movie about y'all. So y'all gonna have to do what you gotta do. Johnny Oleski, you gave me your word. 30 days, we're gonna discuss the corruption.